I think when I got in as a rookie, I learned that if you didn't show up every day, you could be replaced. And I think that's what made everybody on this this chat right now special. I mean, I remember there uh, going out of the array in the weight room, but just pushing each other. The times me and Deb got in arguments in the summer, we didn't think the other one was working out hard enough. And Shiano just put great competition around me every day with Muhammad Sanu and Tim Wright and practice was competitive against those receivers. Each and every day was you know, a win or loss. There was no staying the same. And I think if you have that mentality, you've got an opportunity to, you know, at some point reach your, your max potential. The competition one-on-ones with Kenny and Ty and Tim Brown and Tim Wright, those guys being there every day, you had to show up. So when I got transitioned to the NFL and the New England Patriots and practice was competitive, I was used to that. I was used to the grind. And I think college prepared me to that, to be a pro uh, pretty early. We came in and competed and were able to fight for a job and, and started and had success in the league. And I think Coach Shiano helped, you know, instill that in us. I developed a, a chip on my shoulder and a work ethic. And I think I was able to keep that because of all the things these guys said, the competition, the leadership. I think leading by example and following the guys that led before us once we got in that position, was key. A lot of great role models come before me, like the McCordy twins set the blueprint. When they recruited me, hey, we got these two guys, they're gonna go to the NFL, and you're gonna follow in their footsteps. And uh, Shiano told me that at, you know, when he recruited me at 16, 17 years old. Like everyone said he was, coach was hard to play for, but that transition into football, into the next level, into the NFL. It's teaching us a little bit about time management. I think that's something that goes unspoken when you first get in the NFL. Uh, Rutgers really prepares you to play well and be prepared in the NFL. And I feel like all in all, the culture that Coach Ciano placed at Rutgers and through that program is what was the difference. You have that kind of belief. You know, they had the TBA thing, you know, trust, believe, and, and accountability. We always talked about kind of chopping through chaos. There's going to be chaotic moments. Kind of helps prepare you not only for the NFL, but life in general. You know, as you go through your NFL career, as you become a father or a husband, you start to hear those things playing back in your head, you know, being the best you can be every day. The mentality of, of you know, the word success, knowing that you did everything you could to be the best you can be, was something that I leaned on every single day. You got to have somebody that's going to walk the walk, talk that talk, and live it, though. And one thing I've seen over the years, with Shiano, with everything, is that um, he's been living it. Now talking to those guys five and 10 years later, they're like, man, I will, I will give it everything I could to play another down for Coach Shiano because he taught you how to be a man.